Hey techies, today we played Pikmin 4, the demo. The actual game is coming out July 21st, but the demo was available on Nintendo eShop, so you know I had to play it, and it was so much fun to play. But before we get into it, make sure to subscribe. You see, if you subscribe, you get notifications on content that you will probably enjoy because Tectaro content is great content, and I get another member of my awesome community. And with that being said, sit back, drink some water, and enjoy the show. I can't wait for that then. I love that. Oh, shit. Woo! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. We are here. Oh, my. Yes, the demo. Let's do this. If you complete this, you can receive special awards. And I don't care about that. Let me see the game. It's complete once you collect 1,500 units of sparkly and finish exploring for the day. You can import your save data from the demo into the full version of the game. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, bet, bet. You can do two players? Oh, I definitely want to play this with a friend. For sure, thousand percent. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. The bottom right is not canonically correct, okay? It has a Pikmin that is red, because you can see it with a little sharp nose, but it, the color is blue. That's so stupid. I hate that. Bad game design right here. This demo's already giving me shit. I know it. Also, like, I drink water. It is so hot outside. It's crazy. Y'all like my, um, Triton's water bottle? It's pretty sick. Izzy and Lana got it for me. Izzy kind of asked for it to be made, I believe. And then Lana painted over it. It looks, it looks really cool. And they made the T's bigger with red, like, for Taktaro. That's so awesome. It's also really funny and coincidental that that worked out so well. Is the audio good, guys? Do I need to turn it up or down or anything? Olimar's back, baby! Well, I don't think we get to play as him, but he's back. This kind of, like, art style reminds me of, um... What is it? Don't starve together. That's what it reminds me of. Turn the game audio up. Okay, give me I'll do that. Spuddy Pussy, La Bar. Ah, Dimana Moro. Brookman, wait, oh. Ah. This reminds, reminds me of the very first time I played Pikmin. Pukna, the Pikmin. Although the area does not look familiar. See, that is like my viewers. Just, you know, doing, like, carrying the way. You know, they carry the way of the channel. That's what they do. Yo, our favorite doggo, our favorite doggo right there. Oh, shit. Bro, that bone is bigger than your entire body, Olimar. How the hell did you keep that? Yeah, it's so cool that she can help pick up stuff. Or ski. I don't know what gender the dog is, but... So Olimar is in a whole new area right now. Oh. I remember seeing the house in the background. Oh shit. It's so crazy how we've never seen like... Like Pikmin and like the Pikmin characters in like a modern environment. Oh, we play as Olimar in the demo! Wait! Oh, so this isn't like history, this is actually us playing Olimar. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Yo, I have all the homies! Wait, oh, no, they don't! They're all leaving me, what the hell? <laughs> oh, okay. 
Hey, buddy, how you doing? Would you like some crystals? Wow! That's so cool. That can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. Yeah, usually they follow my word. Why are they doing what they want? What the hell? I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. Yeah, why is the dog blue? Maybe it's another kind of... Oh, maybe there's different kinds of these things. Like, this is a water one because it has a blue tail. Oh, what the heck is this? All right, let's see what we got. Look ahead and move. This is pretty simple. Look around. Yep. Can I? Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I can run into these. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. We got a tutorial, a tutorial right here. They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump, I'll start charging up my pumps, pups strength. I just need to press X and hold. Oh, just hold down. Okay. Then take aim, and when she's at full strength, I'll let her go and let her rush. Okay, simple enough. Let's go! Hell yeah! Pikmin! Fucking Pikmin, let's go. Woohoo! I knew it! Be the call them back to me with my whistle. Yes, everything's coming full circle. Oh yeah, they hop onto the little dog thing. That's so sick. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm. Better make a note of this in my diary. I mean, my my voyage log. Uh, sure. I mean, you never know when this kind of information will provide useful. Now, how to phrase it? Yo, I get to make the diary entry. Strange Pikmin behavior. When I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I couldn't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll just keep looking for them and then call them back using my whistle. I need to find my ship parts! So I get more soldiers for it. Hi. Right. Come over, homies. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Where, where else can we find more homies? Maybe there's some back here. Ba -ba 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 we got yellows! Alright, alright. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Uh, is there any more stuff we can smash? Could we move these? Maybe I could rush this and make, like, stairs? And a boom. Oh. Let's go! Okay, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I just made him smash his skull into the wall. Oh, that wasn't really a good idea. Is there anything else here? No? Alright, let's go! What's over here? I can't read that. Are those in English? Oh, were there more Pikmin? Okay. Um. Guess we'll, guess we'll check the area below. Oh, what the? Did you, did you just fall off? Don't look before you leap. Well, I will leap. Can I jump up here? Oh, I could throw Pikmin onto the fan. Oh, okay. Can I go up with a fan too, I'm assuming? Jump. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's the way we can get back up. Let's see what's actually on this floor, though. Let's see if we can grab more Pikmin. This music, uh, I wouldn't say it goes hard, but it definitely makes me feel something. Hello? Get back here! Oh, is it not Pikmin? Let's rush it! Oh, shit. Oh, it already got blues. Okay, I didn't even see them come onto the dog. I, I didn't even see it. Alright, let's get these guys. You guys too. Alright. Oh yeah, I, can, I keep forgetting I can jump. You never get to jump in these kinds of games. I just forget. And, uh, perfect. It's so easy to keep all your Pikmin together. Oh, what the fuck is that? A creature? What is that thing doing in the house? It looks like a spiky peach. My friend does love peaches. 
I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? No. Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. In the meantime, let's circle it and wait for a chance to strike. All right, bet. I can play the patience game. What if I just leave? Maybe I'll get more Pikmin right now. <laughs> I immediately, immediately left. <laughs> Best escape ever. I'll get more Pikmin before the fight. I doubt it'll be super hard, but like, might as well. And a what? You can't hide from me. That's how I feel with my viewers as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let's get you guys here too. Yes. Gather my tiny army of soldiers and pay labor. Unpaid. <laughs> What the hell are you guys doing? No time to play. We got jobs to do. Don't you want your 401k? Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. This is the perfect situation to rely upon my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of those ship parts, girl. Okay, so she is a girl. Cool, good to know. We need to stay on that scent. Okay, well, I already know where it is, so, like, I don't need to worry about that, but... Using R helps keep track of the scent. I know where it is, so I'm not too worried, but, you know. In the meantime, I will go up here so I can grab that. Got that guy. Alright, grab you. Am I missing anything else? I think I've grabbed a lot of... Oh, no! Okay, but how about we just not yet? Let me just do... Okay, can I, can I... I guess I can't jump there. Uh, okay, I guess I can't go up there. Can I jump down from there? Let me see if I can do that. Can I jump on this thing? Okay, I could jump! Jump! Yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I got it. Fine. I'm sorry I wanted more Pikmin. It's like Pokemon. Gotta collect them all. Oh, hey. There's some homies. Let's get them down. Oh, are they down here? Oh, I didn't, I didn't even see they were up here. Okay, bet. That's perfect. <laughs> the game is trying to give hints so much that like, hey, stop getting Pikmin and go do literally anything else with your life right now. But like, I can't help it. There are Pikmin to collect and they will make the fight much easier if I collect them now. Okay, I'm... Uh, fine, fine. I will get this stupid part. Where was it again? Was it up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's where I did the gate thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's get him now! Full throttle, baby! Oh. Okay, we gotta wait for he... Okay, he grew them back. Now, as soon as he sends it out. Oh, shoot. I need to get used to this charge thing. Go! There we go. He's down for the count. Now let's collect his remains. Oh, hey, there's the part. It's the interstellar radio we located at last. Of course, the telecom engineer. Of course, he finds the radio first. Psh. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> With this back in my possession, I can call for help. Let's go. We got that radio. 
And like 88 Pikmin. I think I collected way too many. Okay. Did anyone come help? Or did no one come? It's like an Undertale. The rescue corps. There's so many. And they have their own dog? What? Oh, there's smoke. Pikmin astronauts, like, can they get their stuff together? They never end up actually making it. They always just crash. Also, there were a lot of them. There were six in that team. Jesus Christ. I actually exactly thought that. No, boom. No. Oh, okay. You get to customize your characters in this game, right? I don't know if we'll do it in a demo, but... God, the first guy, his pose looks crazy. Or girl, whatever. Whoever the first person is, they look like they got that pose. Hold on. They look, they look sa uh, sassy like this. Like that. That's what they look like. Finding, finding the dispersed rescue core is now your top priority. Okay, bet. Create your ID badge and deploy immediately. All right, yes, we can customize. Perfect, perfect, okay. Uh, say... That looks good. Uh, how do I go next? Next. Oh, what the hell is that? No, 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 it's up. Oh, so are there two, like, general models? Like... And then we can customize it from there, like hair and stuff. Oh, I, I guess like the body structure, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. This one, okay, it looks like the best one out of all of them, but it looks too much like Alf. And I just played Pikmin, not just played Pikmin 3, but that was the last Pikmin game that I played. So, I think I'll go with this person. Okay. Um... The screw eyes kind of go hard. Wait, that, that's kind of funny, actually. I'll take it, yeah. He got the dreads, though! My god! My dude's looking great. Let's see, oh no, not that, not that, not that. I mean, that kind of does look like what my hair is right now, so honestly, that's kind of fine. I would say I already have a red outfit, but red hair, I love red. Oh, we could change the outfit too. I don't want to be just red. I think green would work out, especially if I was like in a place like that, I would wear a green like outfit. So I like, so I stand out, I'm uh, sorry, I don't stand out. I camouflage in the greenery, you know, this works, this works. I got my own custom character. Let's go. The Rescue Corps' newest officer. They recently accepted a, a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. Let's go! I'm so stoked. So stoked. Yo, that's so cool you can customize. That's my favorite thing when you can do that in video games. It's so good. I enjoy it so much. Okay, so like, I'm probably gonna crash land, aren't I? Or am I the first Pikmin astronaut to not crash land? You know, that didn't look like a crash landing. I think we're fine. Yo, wait! I per perfectly landed that out of... Thousands of generations of Pikmin astronauts. I am the first one to land safely. That is crazy. I'm so good. I'm, I'm the best. <laughs> All right, let's search for him. Doggo, this is the one that I saw in the trailer. Hello, bro. hello, homie. Are you the one that belonged to the core? You do have a green collar. It does look like it.
Yeah, there we go. Conveniently, I landed right where the pup landed. Nowhere else, apparently. Not like an actual human. But no, I pick up the dog first. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Pup off. This young, loyal rescue pup is an elite breed of space dogs. That's long served the shepherd family. First mission. Likewise, little man. Let's do this. Oh, that's cool that it highlights them like that. That's actually really cool. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. It sucks I won't be able to play the whole game because I know this demo probably ends sometime before we reunite with everyone. So, like, damn, man. Gosh. Oh, well, there's someone. You found someone in need of rescuing. <laughs> All right. Let's get this guy. All right, buddy. Same as earlier. Let's get things going. Go! Oh, do I... Send? Oh, that's what I do. I thought i just rush it. Yeah, pull that! Dude, you are a strong dog! Look at that! He got them jaw muscles! God damn! All the dirt has been removed. You're such a good dog. Such a good boy. Or girl. Whatever you are. Good creature. That's so cool. Ah, uh, Ochi is cute. It's so adorable. I don't know why. This one looks more cute than the other one. Maybe because it's smaller. Wake the fuck up! Uh. Oh, because I picked green. Does everyone have green? That's really cool. Err, is that you, Ochi? I like the hair color. It looks pretty cool. Thank the stars! I wasn't sure that my SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? That's actually quite surprising. I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our captain. I'm just built like that. You know, it's fine. It's fine. I should probably int introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator for the rescue corps. It's me! Why is everyone in this game me? As the comm operator, he handles communication for his fellow oper officers, plus he's handy with a wrench. He's actually just me! He's literally me! Telecom, intern in real life, and in the game, I am the comm operator for the team, and I'm handy with a wrench. I did not allow Nintendo to put me in the game like this. But I don't mind it at all. Let's go! Although Colin's not that good of a name, but you know, it's fine. That's one down. Now, where could the others be? Hale. My path got cut off by a small landslide. I don't think when you say the word landslide, I don't think that is small by any means. Landslide sounds very big and very ca catastrophic. I said that so wrong. It's fine. Catastrophic. There we go. And when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Tektaro, isn't it? That's, that's the name. Did he say kiss nipple? Did he say that? I think I'm just deaf and going crazy, but it's fine. Oh God. I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the one who sent out that emergency signal. The rest of them, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the pla planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. <laughs> oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> I've spent days sleeping out here in the rough. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we were ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose own ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I have confirmed that our spaceship, the SS Shepard, has landed somewhere over there. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. Teamwork? And if we're lucky, we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. Before I forget, take this. Add me on LinkedIn. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was asking to connect on LinkedIn, but you know what? That also works. <laughs> it's an official rescue core tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. Tap and review your missions. Okay. Oh. I didn't think it meant to do it right now. <laughs> At least let the man finish talking. Oh, hey. You can use this app to confirm what is top priority. I have some other handy other handy apps, but I'll share them later or install them later. 
For now, just remember that you can always tap up arrow to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. So I don't think I'll do that yet. Olimar, this person. We don't know what the others look like, so, okay. Cool. Now then, let's go find the SS Shepherd. Let's do this. All right, uh, you, okay, yeah, you're, you're coming, you're coming. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, there's a ship. There she is, the SS Shepherd. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there is something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Okay, bet. The plants on this planet are gigantic. Always make sure the area is safe with R. I mean, yeah, I mean, that is, oh, those are clovers. Are we going this way? Oh, the dungeons! They're back! Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground? If only we could find a way there. Then we could finally reunite with the SS Shepherd. God, I missed the dungeons. They used to be... So, for context, there was a underground dungeon slash rooms back in Pikmin 2 where you could go in there and hunt for treasure and like be bosses and stuff. And it was really cool. There's something under that dirt. Can you send it? Yeah, there we go. Full send! But there was there will be underground dungeons you would go to in Pikmin 2. And you could dig the uh you could not sorry, dig. I was looking at dig and I thought of that. You could go into those dungeons and get treasures and like a bunch of challenges and stuff. It was really fun. There were so many dungeons, and I did all of the dungeons of Pikmin 2. So I'm glad they're bringing it back in this game. There it is. Hello, hello. You can see why why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh, this looks just like the other hole we saw. Well done, Ochi. Let's go. Good dog. You're a good dog. Ochi. I wonder if these two holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just going to have to dive right in. For real? A rescue officer must act with courage in the face of any danger. Be careful if there's lava down there, though. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Maybe we don't go there just yet. Well, but then again, I don't think... No, there was another path earlier. We could go here, right? The spaceship is right there, and yet... Wait, was there another path, or was that it? Oh, no, that was the only path. You can't get to this part, and I can't ride on you, because you're a small dog. You're not like the Olimar dog. Well, we go in, I guess. Although, going in a dungeon with just a dog sounds a bit concerning. Hopefully there are Pikmin down here, though. Burrow of Beginnings, sub-level 1. Oh, it's so crazy here, seeing that, like, wording again. Because I would see, like, sub-level or, like, level 1 or something like that all the time back during the dungeons. Oh, this makes me nostalgic to the good old days. Dang, Doggo landed on his feet. All right, let's see what we got here. Maybe down here we get glow Pikmin. Hey, what is it, Ochi? He's trying to tell us something. Perhaps another rescue officer is down here. Dang, they must have been very unlucky if they fell down here. Or maybe they went down here of their own volition. That is very possible. And they couldn't get up. Dead end. Let's try somewhere else. Okay. Oh, those are enemies. And that is an officer. Woo! You scared shitless. Oh my, what a, what a place to find the captain. That's the captain? That terrified individual you see over there is the captain of our rescue corps team. Look sharp, Taro. Sharp, Taro. The captain comes from a long line of captains. Oh, I couldn't read that part. This is no time for a history lesson. Hurry up and do something. God, you're a coward. But all right, sure, let's do it. All right. Um, she's surrounded by creatures. It is a girl. Okay. I, I, that makes sense. Okay. Full send. Oh, yeah. Can you do this?
All right, and then can I lock on? That works. Hey, nice. I'd rather rush him though. I feel like it's better. Boom. Fucking dead. Phew. Now we can relax a bit. Captain, we took care of the creatures down here. Can you get down? I hope so. My arms are almost numb. I've been hanging on so long. Okay, I can do this. Maybe someone should catch him? They fall. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Captain. I like the tape on your face. What's your status? Call on you, okay? Shouldn't I be asking you that? I'm just relieved to see you alright. Oh, you! I haven't seen you since rookie training camp. I'm Captain Shepherd of the Captain of the Rescue Corps, if you don't remember. Did you order Ochi to get rid of those creatures all by yourself? Huh. Ochi's not supposed to obey anybody but me. Guess that rookie training paid off after all, didn't it? You know, the first time I saw you in training, I had a feeling you'd make a top-notch dog trainer. Shepherd, a 99th gen rescue corps officer. She was saved by a rescue pup as a child, sparking a lifelong love for her furry colleagues. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty, that's pretty wholesome. Ah, that's Captain Shepherd, the one looking very swagalicious in the, why'd I say that? In the, uh, tight, in the main screen. We found a Captain Shepherd with a captain here. It feels like there may be some hope for us after all. Sorry inter to interrupt, Captain, but what were you doing down here anyway? I'd also like to mention that I think I would hope that this captain actually shows like that she's not just a coward, that she's like really good at what she does and like has that moment. Maybe at the beginning she's not as good, but like later she pops off and does really good as a captain. I hope that's what happens. While exploring the surface, I discovered a suspicious hole. I leaned over to take a look inside and fell right in. I wandered around this cave trying to find an exit when I came upon those icky, slimy creatures. Hang on, did you fall down the hole located near the SS Shepherd? We entered this cave... I'm sorry, can you, I need to say Shepherd. I don't know why I'm saying Shepherd, even though it says PH. I know it's Shef, Shepherd. We entered this cave... We entered this cave in an attempt to reach that very opening. Well then, what are we waiting around here for? Let's get back to the SS Shepherd. There we go, I said it right this time. Copy that. Let's go. Me and my screw eye ass just looking at him like, what the heck? Is something wrong? You didn't say anything, Tektaro. Copy that is the Rescue Corps way of saying understood. Let's try saying it together, okay? Copy that. Understood. Hmm, I'm sure you're just nervous. This is your first official mission after all. It'll all come naturally to you soon enough. Don't worry. That said, you'll need to review the Rescue Corps Rescue Journal for your upcoming missions. It's essential for our work. I like that the captain's very chill. She's very nice. That's nice. This is where you'll find advice left by captains both past and present. I have no doubt the knowledge and wisdom they share will guide you well. That's cool. Okay. Bet. You'll be able to access them via your tablet as the need arises, so put them to good use while out in the field. Since Oshi and you have bonded, I officially approve of your partnership. I'll be observing you both to see what skills you have as a rescue pup trainer. Alright! Now, pop that open! That was quite a rush! How did she get in here? Oh, from up here. That makes sense. That's where I fell in. My word, to think you survived a fall from that height? But more importantly, how are we supposed to climb up there? Are there the, in the last game, there was geysers, and I'm guessing Hello? this is what's here. There's something under the light. Oh, it's a fan. Whoa, that's cool, that's cool. I do remember seeing the fan actually back in the trailer. I just forgot about it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Oh. Mom. Excuse me. 
I suggest you exercise a bit more caution when encountering something unfamiliar. Maybe don't just touch it. I completely agree, though in this case, your impulsive behavior did get us out of that cave. This is real. Oh, a flag. Alright, Captain, the Rescue Corps flag has been officially planted. Now for the status report on all cave-related activities. We located and rescued one castaway, and no other individuals were found during our search. Noted, then let's consider the investigation of this cave complete. I hope this experience will help you prepare for the challenges inherent to our work. There are lives depending on us. But you both did good work today. Well done. I guess we're just going to skip right over the fact that we had to rescue the captain herself. I was gonna say, I'm like, you guys are saying it as if we didn't rescue her. <laughs> Colin, you look different since the last time I saw you. Did you do something new with your hair? I don't think so. I've been a bit busy trying to, you know, stay alive, maybe? Of course, and good for you. You did it. Well, here she is, the SS Shepherd. It looks like an actual plane. That's really cool. I guess it has to be a little bigger if it's housing like seven members. Okay, do we do we do anything with this? Nope. Is that smoke pouring out of the SS Shepherd? I'll investigate right away. Famous last word. <laughs> That's awesome. He is the engineer though. If anyone can fix it, it's him. Status report. Upon investigating the interior of the ship, I discovered the engine had overheated yeah, huh? and that the spaceship was seconds away from total destruction. Oh. What? Will it be okay? It will. I initiated an emergency shutdown. Everything's stable. Thankfully, the engine can be repaired. However, the ship's energy stores are now completely empty. <laughs> so we have no way of getting off this planet, let alone searching for Captain Olimar. That's fun. <laughs> Not necessarily. I think I saw something in Captain Olimar's voyage log that may prove useful. Here it is. Take a look at this. Let's see what we got here. I found treasure after thorough investigation into the shiny objects found on this planet. I have to do so they must contain sparklium. I feel giddy. Oh, that's what they mentioned at the beginning. That you need to get, like, you can get, like, up to 1,500 sparklium. And then you have to end the day. Or like end the day and then the demo's over. I feel giddy to have found real life treasure, but my focus must remain on my main objective, finding the missing parts of the SS Dolphin. So I guess we power our ship with shiny treasure. Cool. In layman's terms, we should be able to extract sparklium from sparkling objects that we find on this planet and convert it into energy. If they can be used to restart and restore the SS Shepard, those objects truly are nothing short of real life treasures. What a what a reference to the to the second game. I'm skeptical, but at this point we have nothing to lose. This may be our only chance. So from this point on, we have a new mission: find and collect all the sparkly objects we can. Copy that. Apparently, <laughs> even the game is uh, so. Oh, that's Shepard. Apparently, sparkly objects can be used as an energy source. Locate as many as you can so you can restart the SS Shepard. Mohei. Once we collect this treasure, we'll need a way to transport it. For that, we can use the SS Beagle. Oh, that's right. The thing that I came in. Okay. Was that a monster up there? We just need a good place for it to land. What's that over there? Is that an onion? Our wines for that thing and the onion, I'm pretty sure. It's so shiny. Maybe it's some sort of landmark, but I'm not completely sure. It looks like the perfect spot for a base of operations. Call the ship over. We got remote communication. He's a he's a telecom operator for sure. SS Beagle re repositioning successful. Good. Our preparations are complete. Let's find that treasure. Okay. So I hope I can... Oh, hey, there's something. Is this what I think it is? This has to be a treasure. A fork. Just look at the way it sparkles. 
Let's check the tablet to see if it's emitting a high energy reading. All right, rookie, press plus to open the radar map. There's a star. Presence of Sparklium confirmed. That star in the center represents the treasure. From now on, you can consult your radar map to check if there's any treasure in your area. Hot treasure in your area right now. All right, excellent work. I'm going to take this auspicious start as a good sign, but um, how are we going to move it? Oh, I know how. Do your thing. Excavation completed. Okay, so the dog counts for three. Good to know. Honey! Honey! This treasure is large. How can we physically collect something this big? You don't find a way. The ship uses a special type of light ray that miniaturizes objects during collection, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll examine it with the sensors on the SS Beagle right away. Let's hope it contains the type of energy we need. Dang, that was a lot. Energy detected. If we can collect 250 more units of Sparklium, we may be able to restart the SS Shepherd. But the SS Shepherd is supposed to run on high octane energy. Will this work? I believe we can get it to run on Sparklium alone, though it may be a bumpier ride. But before that can happen, we're going to need a lot more. Then we need to search the area for more treasure. Let's go! I really hope we get more pick- Oh, there's an onion! I recognize immediate that immediately. And they play the exact same sound effect. The, the exact same music when you find an onion. What's this? Is it a treasure? No. But it's something better than that. Oh, we bring the onion also back. That's cool. Hopefully there's more onions around. I'm pretty sure we'll need yellow ones for that top part. Well, actually, no. We could we probably just go higher and just can throw it from up there. But we'll see. Nice! It moved! I don't think it's a treasure. What could it be? It looks like some kind of plant. Could this be that thing Captain Olimar wrote about in his voyage log? He called it an onion. I still don't get why he calls it an onion. But If this is an onion, then what is that sprout? It's a, it's a shallot. It's the root of an onion. Or that thing. That works also. Uh, so good to see you again, Red Pikmin. But in higher graphics. Just a little bit. Oh my, I think this could be a Pikmin! According to Captain Olimar's voyage log, they are friendly and helpful creatures that are great for labor. Well then, maybe they could help us while we explore and look for treasure. Oh. <laughs> look at that, OG's already bonding with the Pikmin. That Pikmin's about to beat his ass, what do you mean? You should introduce yourself as well, Tektara. And, um, Captain, do you in how long do you intend to hide back there? All right. All right. Let the growing process begin. Pikmin. What? More sprouts? That red seed-like thing is apparently called a pellet. If you feed one to the onion, it will create more Pikmin. What a mysterious life form. Let's go! Alright, look alive! We got plenty more to go! Oh, 
All right, let's get that one over there. What else we got? There's treasure up here. Is that a DS? That's so awesome. That's a DS. Oh, wait, is that, or it's a Game Boy. It might be that. Oh, right. Oh, I need to do this guy. Bo! Yep, it's a Game Boy. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That was close. Too close. All right. I think you guys can all handle it. Right. Oh, no. You need a little more help. Okay. You guys do that. I'll grab some more help right here. I need one more. That's okay. I'll put all of them on it. The more Pikmin you have carrying something, even above the maximum, the faster it makes it... Uh, tr the... The faster they move with the thing. I believe it's diminishing return though. So the more Pikmin you put over the minimum over the, the minimum you need, it goes up at a diminishing rate. Although I don't know if that's true. I think it's true. Is that all of this stuff here? There has to be another path upward, I'm pretty sure. But. Another treasure collected. Now let's see. Where else can we go? No, I can't walk up that area. Black pink in your area. Ah, there's one. Is that a ring? Oh no, it is uh, a bell, I think. Like a bike. Uh, oh, I'm getting pushed. I didn't mean to call them, but, you know, they're, they're still going, so this works. So we already got 300, so we can keep going in the demo until we hit 1500. I'm fine with that. Huzzah! You two make a fantastic combination. Tektaro and Ochi. Copy that. I'll be I'll be good this time and I'll say copy that. You nailed it that time. Of course, this isn't quite the right occasion for a copy that, but good effort, Tektaro. Okay. Okay. Colin. God, you really are a Colin, aren't you? Jesus Christ. I hate this guy. The Pikmin are very obedient. They move and work like tiny rescue pups. Now it's time to extract the energy from the treasure. Get started right away, Colin. Perfect. Hell yeah. Energy from the treasure will soon be extracted. It'll flow directly into the SS Shepherd. We got that Game Boy! And the bell. so good hell yeah let's go oh dang let's oh wow it's ready to go why does it have that metal tip at the end why does it have that huh we restarted the ss shepherd using the sparkling extracted let's freaking go best team there is we did it! The ship's back online! We still don't have enough energy to fly, but now we can use the radar to look for our missing officers. Excellent, Colin. Boost it up and see if we pick up any signals. Okay, so this is where you'd end off from the demo, and then you'd find the others. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm. I'm picking up multiple SOS signals! They could be coming from our lost rescue officers and even Captain Olimar. And we don't have a moment to lose. Time to get rescuing. Nice. Two rescues. That's interesting. The ship is automatically naming objects. We encounter unknown objects and elements on our missions all the time. So I had a naming AI installed on our, on our new ships. Apparently it was co-created by a famous appraiser. It's more sophisticated than I expected. Pretty impressive. 
I love how they're bringing AI into that. It's so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was worried when I saw the smoke billowing out of the SS Shepherd. I didn't know how things would shake out. Thank goodness we were able to make the repairs. Engineer moment. Let's go. I'd been roughing it up for long enough, and there's something to be said for finally having a properly prepared meal. And you're sure we have enough emergency rations, Colin? We have no idea how long we'll be stuck on this planet. I counted our stock three times, but I can do it again. Excellent plan. Now, tomorrow we'll focus on recon, so you and Ochi need to eat and get lots of rest. But don't forget to review your missions before heading to bed. The SOS signals we discovered must be coming from our rescue officers. Come talk to me as soon as you're ready. Okay. So we can keep going. Cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, I guess this is everyone. I called this strategy meeting to order. Copy that. Here's the latest status report. As of today, two rescue officers and one rescue pup have been recovered thanks to the efforts of Taktaro. However, the whereabouts of the other four rescue officers remain unknown. And the SS Shepherd, Shepherd is out of commission. All things considered, our primary mission, the rescue of Captain Olimar, has run into some roadblocks. Our first priority is now the search and rescue of our fellow rescue officers. Hey, Taktaro! Ochi! Fly to the area where our radar picked up those distress signals and try to track down our missing personnel. Colin and I will remain with the ship. We'll provide direction and guidance from there. From here. Don't worry, we'll be available via the Shepherd's wireless communication, so you'll have our full support. I wouldn't typically assign so much responsibility to a rookie, but after seeing you in action, I know you can handle it. They have more faith than my friends do, for real. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Plus, you'll be in good pause with Ochi by your side. You two make a great team. Captain, what about our search for Captain Olimar? Should we officially put it on pause? No. No. We may still find him during our hunts for the other rescue officers. I'll keep it on our mission list, just in case. Oh. On that note, I hereby call this strategy meeting to a close. Okay. Copy that. I did it this time. Captain Olimar is shipwrecked on this unknown planet. Discover his whereabouts while you search for missing rescue corps officers. Collect 15,000 units of sparkly, sparklyum and finish the the Finish the day to complete the demo. Afterward, you can receive rewards both in the smart device app and the full version. Cool. Okay. I don't think the day has a time limit, so we should be good to just do whatever. No, I am working right now. Multitasking. Multitasking. Nice. I see. Is your stuff, like, is your stuff due soon, soon Zane? Or is it just, you know, you're just trying to get ahead? All right, let's get these Pikmin out. Why is it going so slowly? Okay, there we go. Alright, and then another one here. Oh. You'll be pleased to learn that I installed a few new apps on your tablet. I'm sure you'll find them more than useful when you're out in the field, so check them out when you have a spare minute. Now that we have that sorted out, are you ready to get out there and explore? Um, bye for now. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready, so come find me. I'm just gonna grow Pikmin real quick and then I'll go do that. I don't need to go right now. Might as well farm everything from here and then do it. Did I already hit the maximum? Oh, is the max 20 for the demo? That explains the out of 20 thing. Huh, the onion stopped spitting out seeds. Based on the life signs from inside the onion, there are clearly more Pikmin in there. Maybe Pikmin have evolved to self-limit how many can be out on the surface at a time to prevent unnecessary loss. I like how they give a little bit more reason in this game for like why things are the way they are in Pikmin. It's kind of cool. It's not really needed a lot of times because the game can just say, oh, this is how it is, but at least this game is trying to be a little bit like, oh yeah, like this is for this reason. It's not needed, it's just nice. Okay. Oh yeah, we don't need any more sprouts because we... Okay. Let's explore! Which area would you like to explore? I have choices. Ah, well, I think that's where we can go. 
Sun Speckled Terrace. Okay. Let's go! Let's do this shit. Oh, the onion's going too? Makes sense. I can't really do much without my Pikmin. If you spot treasure on high ground that can't be reached by throwing Pikmin, try using the rush to make it fall. I need to remember that. I am not used to the uh, whole Ochi thing at all, and I need to get used to that. Here we are. Sparkle Terrace. Oh, it's such a nice bench. Wow. This is really cool. Again, the little pink uh, circular frames of pink rock to show where the onion and stuff will land. That's pretty cool. All right, let's rescue one more person. Hello? Come in, come in. This is Colin. Looks like you made it there in one piece. Hang on, I'll have the captain explain how today's rescue operation will work. See the clock at the top left corner of the... Oh, now we have a day thing. Ah, so we need. I need to get 1,500. Or at least I really want to get 1,500 in this day. Okay, I'm a Pikmin Pro. I could do this, guys. I've been doing this for so much of my life. See the clock at the top left uh, corner of your screen? It's set up so that the hand will reach the rightmost edge at the area's local sunset time. Search for our missing rescue officers during the day, but hustle back to the rescue command post before dark. I'm on the job. Try to remember that you're supposed to respond with copy that. Oh, come on! The sec I did it the wrong way the second that I did it. Okay. Because earlier I said copy that to the wrong thing, and now I said copy that, and it wasn't supposed to. Oh my gosh. Okay. I guess when it comes to orders, I need to say copy that. Oh, you probably noticed that the onion accompanied the SS Beagle. According to the voyage log, onion also serves as a form of transportation for the Pikmin. Aww. We've got a lot to do and can take all the help we can get. I think you could put those Pikmin to good use. Okay. I wanted to get 1500 worth of treasure, so let's do this. Okay, I'm pretty sure now I can get more Pikmin. I can't. Okay. 20 it is. So, my priority is not to grow Pikmin. But it's just to, um... Pikmin will help you a little bit. Okay, let's do this. Let's see what we got. There's a, there's a tunnel over there. But first, let's see. Come in, Tektaro! I just walked out! I forgot an important detail. That is, you're going to need Ochi's help when it comes to searching for the rescue officers. He has a sharp sense of smell, so he'll be able to locate the rescue officers by tracking their scents. Use Y to open actions, and then- oh, hold it also. And then use left stick to search- oh, to select a search command. To begin with, command Ochi to pick up a scent. You never know where his nose may lead you. Okay. Rescue operations are a race against time, so put your Dandori skills to work to find our rescue officers quickly. I don't have any Dandori skills, but that's fine. You look a little confused. There we go. <laughs> have you never heard the term Dandori before? How to explain? Dandori is at the art of organizing your tasks tasks strategically and working with maxima, maximum efficiency to execute your plans quickly. God, that was a mouthful for me. Its practice has fallen by the wayside in recent years, but it's still a core tenet of the Rescue Corps, so take it to heart. Embracing the art of Dandori is essential to our work, and you'll need it out there while searching for our rescue officers. To get things started, open Y and command Ochi to sniff out our missing comrades. Alright, let's do this. Confirm. Sniff out castaways. Follow the scent, Ochi. Alright. Guess we'll follow it. Don't know what the ice things are, but you can worry about that. Actually, let's just worry about now. What is this? Oh, wait. Can I rush it? I'm picking up a little stones. I'm assuming they've got to build something. That's a pretty rock, isn't it? It doesn't seem like treasure, but it might be useful. I'll check the voyage log. One could mistake this raw material for a simple stone, but it has more in common with amber and other fossilized biological matter. When heated, it melts into a brown clay and becomes malleable. I should be able to find many applications for it. Okay, I'm a fair hand with machines, but I don't know much about material science. If we had our scientists back, I bet he'd be able to make good use of this. Collect it for now. 
He'll be excited to have something to work with after we find him. Hopefully that's the guy that we'll find, but anyways. I can still follow Ochi in the meantime. We already killed the Bulborb, so that should be fine. Oh. Alright, hold on. Boom! Okay, and three, two, demolish. It'll take him a while. I gotta get the other Pikmin to help out. I hate not having multiple captains. It's so annoying. Okay. Um. Let's tackle down the wall right over there. I'm not growing Pikmin, Pikmin by the way, guys, because my priority is to um, get all the treasure. Can I rush? Do I just... Oh, fudge. No, stop that. Just demolish. If I rush the wall, is it faster? I don't know. Cool, let's go. Oh, there's some more. Uh, one, two, three, four. Alright. Cool. Oh, uh, scent again. Scent. Castaways. Seven out, boy. All right, let's go. Oh, is he in there? Look, there's a cave here too. This area is crawling with creatures. Our rescue officers should have retreated into the cave to get away from them. Well, we should probably take a look inside. Okay, do we need to though? I mean, could I check? I'll check the area first. Okay. We know he's in there, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay. In the meantime, let's let's get these eggs. Let me nectar up my boys. Nice! Flower Pikmin! Did you see that? It bloomed a flower. What's going on here? Hmm. That sub substance is called nectar. When Pikmin consume it, it stimulates their growth, apparently. Did you just read the entire voyage log just on your free time, Colin? While you were casting away, did you just, like... Read through the entire log and just understand everything. What is going on? The voyage log says that the more they grow, the faster they move. They really are mysterious creatures. Perfect. I'm guys. I'm somewhat of a Pikmin veteran. Somewhat, you know. There's probably more, and more for the others, but I'll go for them later. Okay. Let's see. Cool, got one. And then next one. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Got him. All right, cool. All right, let's see what we got. Um, oh, okay. Charge! Get him! Fiery blue hog got nothing on me. Red Pikmin are resistant to fire. Cool. Okay, so we can take one of these. Nope, don't do that. Go here. And then the other one. One. Can I lock onto this? Right. I think I need a different kind of Pikmin. Don't worry about that. Oh wait, oh! The rush thing. And full throttle! There we go. That's what I like to see. Okay. Okay, you know what? That works. Okay, what else do we got? So they're carrying that from up there. I think there's another area we can go to that way. We don't need to bring the corpse. We don't need that. We need all the shinies. I need to get all of it. Okay, so we need more Pikmin. Okay, I'll send one to search this thing. Okay. And, um... I have lost track of Pikmin, but it's fine. They'll all be, they'll all be there anyway, so yeah. Okay, we'll get more of... We can kill this guy. And then we can... Oh, that's a big one. So they're going to take care of the fiery blowhog. Oh. Huh. Another circle of stones. I like how they we're just talking about this as we're freaking murdering a blowhog. We keep finding them in the most opportune locations. How interesting. Maybe Captain Olimar left them behind for us so we could track him down. Never mind that for now. I wonder if we're in this creature's territory. We should create a base here. Any, Dan any Dandori master would tell you it's the most efficient way forward. Shut the hell up about Dandori! But first, let's do something about that pesky creature already. We're literally just taking over their universe at the time. Oh, and if we build a bridge, we can go across that way. 
Oh, I probably should have, uh... Okay, there we go. This works. Can that bridge be stuck in there? New base unlocked. Okay. Zero mana activation complete. Okay, so that guy's there. Um... Okay. Oh, I can move the base. Move base. Move base. That's cool. Wait, that's awesome. I don't need to go back. That's actually really convenient. No, don't do that. One. And then... Okay, those guys will go back for more, so I'm not worried about that. I should be playing less Pikmin on that, but... I'm not used to it. Okay, so... We have that under control. There's more in the water, but I don't know how we're gonna do that. Oh, there's more treasure up there. I gotta go get that. Okay. How am I gonna... Oh, I probably need more captains? Oh, no, I need to go up there. Fudge, did I miss it up there? Damn, I need to go back up. It'll be quick. Pile of raw material transported. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, can I not even get up there at all? Okay. That's fine. Also, how would it take you guys so long to bring that? Oh my gosh. I'm running out of time quickly. I'm not going to get the 1500 in time. Oh my gosh. This sucks. Okay, it's fine. I got to go fast. I can do it. I got to go fast. I'm pretty sure I can handle beating this guy with just a, uh, all of what I have, so... Oh, can I rush him? You'll want to keep a close eye on the creatures, but if they move around a lot, they can easily escape your line of sight. When that happens, there is a handy trick for keeping your sights and aim where you want them. Lock on, right? There we go. Press the R to fix your auto-target lock and keep your aim focused on one target. It makes targeting nimble enemies or aiming while you're in motion a snap. Yep. Hmm, do I, do I have enough Pikmin for this? I'll just take him out right now and explore what's there. It's fine, I'll go off to the tunnel in a second. Get it here! Fuck you! I don't know how he didn't kill anyone to be honest, but you know what? That's, that's alright. That's electric. And probably going down there will get more stuff, so... okay. Hey, what the hell are you doing? Okay, now we should probably go back to that area, flower up all the Pikmin, and, uh, yeah, let's go back to the tunnel, fine, I guess. Got a little carried away, I guess. Enter! Fishy. I wonder if there might be a voyage log entry related to these coordinates. Yep, here it is. Last Frost Cavern, I entered a cave to look for SS Dolphin parts and found a creature that defies the logic of space? It further surprised me by expelling frigid cold air. Imagine if there were Pikmin that had been acclimatized to that cold air. This planet's ecosystem is full of mysteries. Boy. Take a look at this. That Captain Olimar certainly is thorough, isn't he? According to the log, anytime you enter a cave, you should take Pikmin with you. The SS Beagle can bring the Pikmin, so you can enter the cave without stopping by the base first. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be left out here, so let's return them to the Onion. The Pikmin that remain on the surface can't just be out here, so let's return them to the Onion. So I guess we put them back in the Onion while we go after the thing. Man, there's so much walking back and forth. I'm going to run out of time eventually. Or maybe it's all in the tunnel. I don't know. But there's yellow Pikmin back there, and it's too far away. For now, I guess we put him back. I don't really know if that was what we're supposed to do, but that's what I thought they were telling us to do. But let's just do it. You're fucking kidding me. Okay. We're not going to talk about the fact that I literally wasted a few seconds on that, but it's fine. Whatever. I got to go fast. Oh, wait. Actually, no. This is, this is fine. Because time doesn't pass in the tunnels, I believe. Or like in the dungeons. 
time doesn't pass. It stays frozen. So I can take my time down here. And I can spend the rest of the half of the day on the surface doing stuff. Okay, I'm fine with this. Now let's see if we can get some ice pick, man. After I wait five years. That's won't take that long. Definitely. Oh, hey, here we are. Good boy, OG. He's picked up a castaway scent. It has to be one of our four of our missing recruit rescue officers. Time to get them back to safety. Okay. Yeah, time does just pause here. That's great. These things don't do any harm. They're female shear grubs, so I'm not worried. Nothing nearby, right? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. In the meantime, let's get some rushing in here. Okay, one, two, three. And a one, and a two, and a bucket mash shoe! Ooh, nectar. I'll be taking that. We can harvest, harvest these guys. I mean, I don't know what it does. Probably not much, but... Oh, does this also give us sparklium? Not by not much though, right? Ah, oh, okay. What's this? That's not treasure. Huh, treasure or not, it does appear to contain, contain some sparklium. You might as well keep collecting those defeated creatures. They may be enough to help, even if only a little. Oh, so I was supposed to collect those creatures. Everything on the top surface. It's fine. They're all bodies anyways. I can just clean them up at the end. It's fine. Okay, go. I'm glad the game knows to put the leaf pikmin first for nectar. So I don't need to waste time cycling through. Wait, can I have my dog go up to the nectar? Nope. But I do see some ice pikmin over here. Um, should I be helping? I guess I'll do this. Bingo! Ice Pikmin! Let's go! Oh, you're a cool little guy, aren't you? Are these Pikmin too? Let's see. The voyage log says... The Ice Pikmin. I always thought of Pikmin as plant-like creatures, so I never dreamed I'd come across an ice variant. Ice Pikmin can use their icy bodies to freeze water in creatures, but they also float like ice in the water. Don't spray them with water, though. They really don't like it. Their bodies are made of ice? Who knew that something frozen could move around like that? It's incredible. Alright. 25 out of 25. Huh? That seems like a lot of Pikmin. Is your squad bigger than normal? Oh, I see. When you're underground, you can have a larger squad because the wild Pikmin you find will join you. It's so cool that you can find wild Pikmin. That's that's something. Okay. We could do that. I'm putting red Pikmin because I don't think I need to worry about those right now. I need to use Ochi more, besides just destroying obstacles. I need I need to remember that he's a Pikmin too. Well, kind of. Alright. Get that nectar, guys. Oh, your flowers are yellow. That's nice. Oh, those are males. Those ones I gotta have to be ready for, because those ones actually will kill my Pikmin. In the meantime, let's just push this. Okay. Um treasure over there and there's some ice thing over there and there's a there's a rescue person over there okay there's a person that needs rescuing stop sitting there okay so now but maybe i can send this guy also it's like charging after those uh stupid shirt reps. go how dare you nice his rush ability is so helpful oh and there's a yellow onion here I figured we would need yellow Pikmin. Because those things were so high and there were electric walls. So obviously we're going to have an electric Pikmin. I just, sorry, yellow Pikmin. I just didn't know if we were going to actually get to that electric wall in the surface. Does it look like it's sputtering? It looks pretty pale for an onion. What do you think? Should we take it with us? Hell yeah, we're taking it with. Come on, boy. Okay. Um... I'm assuming these are for ice Pikmin. Just like that. Frozen solid. I bet you can break it if you hit it now. Give the order to the Pikmin or Ochi. 
Well, OG. Oh, you, you need some help. In the meantime, you guys aren't really helping, so you guys get this. Nope, you guys keep like, going through your thing. Yep. Collect the bodies. I think that should be good. Hydro Jelly Burst. Cool. In the meantime, let's get you guys on that. And that's our person we need to save. We have a castaway. Check their vitals. Pulse, blood pressure, temperature. All within normal parameters. Looks like their life support system did its job. We should transport them back to the SS Beagle and verify their ID badge. Yeah, they're like, they're like, Screen thing is clouded. I can't see who they are. But they don't look like Olimar or anything, so I doubt it's them. Hopefully, that person doesn't freeze to death with the freaking ice Pikmin carrying their body. Huh. This onion is different somehow. Let's take it back to the surface so we can compare it with the other onion. Okay. Why is that guy walking back? Why was he walking back? What the heck? What's on the, what's on the tablet? Installing new apps. Status report. Okay, so it says how many pick Pikmin we lost. Missions. ID badges. Rescue journal. Ice pick The voyage log and history and stats. Okay. Get him to the ship! You did it! Let's take a look and see what the ID badge tells us. Hey, this is... Russ. Rescue Corps officer, an inventor, material engineer, and lover of all things science. He can develop all kinds of useful gadgets with the right raw materials. Oh, material engineer. That's cool. An inventor as well. Oh, thank the stars he's alright. This is Russ, the scientist in charge of repairs and upgrades for our spacesuits and the SS Shepard. His technical knowledge will be beyond useful during this rescue mission. Found the scientist! Nice! He's that guy. He's pondering in thought. What an inventor. You found Russ, the Rescue Corps' talented scientist. Keep searching for the rest. Alright, cool. I think after that, we've completed this area. Are you all done down here? If so, you can make your way to the exit. I'm pretty sure, but let me just double check. Well, actually, let me nectar up these ice Pikmin, too. Might as well. The more flowers we have, the faster we can operate. Po Pikmin currently outside your squad will come with you. Return to the surface. Yep. I still don't understand the Pikmin going inside thing. We rescued Russ! Big man Russ! Reminds me of freaking uh, Tommy Innitz, um like producer or something like that. Name Russ. Investigation complete! At least that's what it seems like to me. The flag just grew there. What the heck? Aw, running out of time. I'm sure I synchronized your clock, Tektaro, but something's off. Oh, what's off? I calculated the difference. It looks as if it's, it is if about one-sixth as much time passed onto the surface as you spent underground. Oh, so time still passes. That sucks. Time seems to move differently in the underground spaces on this planet. I'm not sure how it works, but I suppose that means you can take as much time as you need to explore caves. Well, that doesn't really mean that. But a six is also a lot better. Oh. Wait, the onion absorbed the onion? Oh. I get it now. The voyage log says that the white bulb is called Flareric. If we bring Flareric to the onion, it will increase the number of Pikmin it releases onto the surface at any one time by 10. Oh. So it's not a yellow onion? Huh. Interesting. Well, that'll be a big help when you're exploring. Try taking out more Pikmin. I'm glad- oh, I really should have waited, okay. 
Well, I already have an I have Max Pikmin, so I, I can't really do that. Okay, cool. 100% of the cave. We can't do anything up there still, pretty sure. But I can do something with this. Isn't that right? Oh. I need 30? Okay. So they're doing that. Um, can I see what else I could do over here? That is an electric wall. Electric wall, I can't do anything with that. What's down here? Okay, more stones. Oh, shit! Okay, uh, let's send two on here. Just so it's gradually doing it, but not quite. Okay, that guy is, uh... Maybe I don't fight him just yet. Can't reach what? You can't transport this thing for now. Okay, uh, I'll send you to do this. Uh, those are Pikmin over there. Might as well destroy this wall. There's a treasure up there though, so I'll definitely take that. But he's pulling that, the red Pikmin are doing that, and... These guys can't transport it? Wait, what's happening? What's the map Oi. right? Like, There's a Pikmin over there, the wall. There's... Oh, those two are moving there. Huh. There's a Flaric over here, so we can get more that way. It's up there. Okay. Don't know if I can use the dog for that. But let's see. Okay, I'm gonna make a shortcut here. What is happening? What does that sound? Kinda concerned about the noise I'm hearing right now, but it's fine. Okay, there's a treasure over there. Okay, this way I can... Okay, there we go. Yep. Cool, okay. Uh, I can reunite with these guys. Okay. Um... Okay, so I need to get some... I noticed you're looking at the radar map just now. Why don't I tell you about a handy little function it has? The system will mark discovered caves and cleared areas with a down arrow or the side arrow. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. It's a very useful way to keep track of your objectives. Okay. So there's a treasure here, treasure here. Gotta get these two. Gotta send um, Ochi on that. And there's a monster over there. I think. Well, first I need to get these two. Cool. They've got that. Um, okay. Yep. I wish I had two captains here, it'd be so much easier. Okay. Let's think, let's think. There's a treasure over there, but we might need... Actually, no, we don't need to kill the bull board. We don't need to. Oh, that's the reason he wakes up. He never ends up catching him, so it's fine. Okay, in the meantime, I'm just gonna... Oh, I need Ochi. Where's Ochi? Oh, he's up there. Don't do anything, stupid. Okay, uh... Oh, shoot! Go, go! No, what the hell? No! I'm going to get you, you stupid piece of crap. I'll get you. I got two over one. We're trying to go too fast. Just go ahead. He's not going to get you. It's fine. That's what the noises were that I was hearing. Okay, we can do... Okay, I gotta get more Pikmin over here. They're excavating. He's getting one at a time. I'm gonna freaking murder that guy. Sing. Okay. Got another red Pikmin. They're carrying this. Um, 
What, what, what is there? Oh, it's another thing. Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm all right. Wait, no. Wait, hold on. Let me see. What are the treasure? There's one treasure up there. We definitely can't get that one, though. I know that for a fact. And having as much ice pigment doesn't really matter because these rock things aren't really needed, at least right now. So what is important is... Well, this guy's kind of chilling there, but that's fine. We don't need it. We could try to go for that, but I don't think it's worth it. We can just go in the tunnel. Oh, we're hitting sunset, so we got to go to that thing. There has to be more here. Okay, let's just call this guy. I don't care about the freaking material. Just come here. No! Okay, it's fine. Who cares? Let's just go in. I was feeling harder than usual in my space in, in my space suit, and when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked, but a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance, totally unfazed, even as the fire licked at them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful attacks. Okay. Okay, just red Pikmin, so we can take the reds. Cool. Let's go. It's cool. To okay, I think we can change the Pikmin configuration depending on where we go. On which tunnel we go to. So that's nice. What was the rule again? That you can go up to 1500, but the day ends. Like, when the day ends, the day ends. I forgot what it, what it was. Okay. Nectar up, nectar up. How much damage does one uh, dog rush do? Go! Go! Oh no, he's on fire! Oh, his tail is burning! Put the fire out with B right away! Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought it would do a lot more damage, I'm gonna be honest. But this is fine. Okay. Oh, you! I remember you from Pikmin 2. You were so annoying. Anyways, I'll collect you. Five, collect that. Hey, get back here! I get- I am- Oh, hey, there's red. There's yellow Pikmin. I'm literally traumatized from- uh, What is it? I am traumatized from those flying things. They were so annoying in other games. Yo, Pikmin! Is this a new type of Pikmin? I should check to see if Captain Olimar's log says anything about them. I've decided to call the yellow-colored Pikmin with large ear-like appendages Yellow Pikmin. I like that name a lot. More than Ear Pikmin. <laughs> God, that sounds a lot weirder, yeah. They're resistant to electricity and they fly high when thrown. Plus, they're good at digging. Perfect. Resistant to electricity? How unusual. What in the world are they made of? Rubber. That sounds like a potentially useful quality, though. Just be careful how you deploy them. There aren't that many. Yep. So there's more treasure over here. Let me just see. Yellow Pikmin are great at digging. Okay, first I need to clear out the area for these guys. So they can keep going to him and fighting him, so I don't need to worry about that. They'll, they'll kill him eventually. In the meantime... Oh! You! I didn't even see you! God, I hate you, these things. Okay. Now I can do this. Okay, and then you collect that, collect that. Three, collect that. I take it back, come back, come back. I need you. Nope, I need all of you on that thing. As soon as I can. There we go. You guys go ahead and do that. You, oh, it seems like a waste of time to put you on that. You're taking one at a time. Oh wait, what did? Oh, you're putting your mouth. That's kind of adorable. <laughs> I like that a lot, actually. All right, team. Your goal is to be get as much of this as possible. I guess I don't really need too many on them, so that that's not that 
Oh, and I forgot to send... Uh, I'll just send you to bury this. It only takes three, so you can just carry that whole thing by yourself. It'll work out. You're fine. Good dog. Good dog. Okay, in the meantime, I can send... Oh, and I need to go up that way. That makes sense, actually. And use the electric pigment for that. So they're doing that. Um... All right. Cool. And then these guys are coming back. I'm probably just going to finish it up while they're doing the electric gate. He's carrying that. And I'll just send... One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Oh, it's cool. If they know that all the pieces are going to be collected, they just stay there anyways. And they don't go back to that area. That's really smart. The Pikmin are becoming smarter in these games. That's awesome. All right, let's get you... Yep. Good treasure. Hey, we might hit the 1500 mark after all. Okay, we can hit it. I think we can hit it. We have enough time. We can, we can probably do it. Especially with the yellow Pikmin we have. Oh. Alright, just gonna scooch on by. Don't think there's. There's no other treasures, yeah. We should be good. Get the yellows to go on that. Oh, there's another level of the thing. Okay, we have plenty more. I am worried though that they did say that it would go. That time goes down by a six. But that doesn't mean that no time passes at all. So, like. I'm trying to be careful that I'm not spending too long in here also. Which sucks, because I like which sucks, because I like to take my time fully with exploring these areas, but I don't think I have the luxury of that. But it's fine. I think we cleared out this area. Let's get you and go. All I want I just want fifteen hundred. I'm not sure if the if the day ends and I don't have fifteen hundred, then I'd be like, eh, that kinda sucks. But I don't remember what the rule was. It's fine. I'm pretty sure it's you have one day till they get whatever you have. Okay. But I don't know. Why would they give the message like, oh, like, like you need like, oh, like the Pikmin will join you in your squad. Like as if that's something that you need to be warned about. Like it's getting more Pikmin. What's the problem? Crackling Cauldron sub-level two. This is probably the floor with all the fire in it, huh? I got to keep all the yellows back. While exploring caves, it's possible to have more than three types of Pikmin in your squad. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, the only time there were three Pikmin were in the first game. Okay. Uh, is there a captain? Oh, okay. Shoot. Okay, search for castaways. Treasure, castaway. Well, actually, treasure is my higher priority. <laughs> Sizzling floor extinguished. Okay. Careful if there are any monsters. Treasure right there. Okay. I might need the yellows here. Let's pluck some more over here. Hopefully we won't need the other yellows, but it's fine. They're digging it up pretty quickly. Hopefully that's not an issue. Okay. Good job, doggo. What the hell is that? What is that? That thing looks cursed. I'm gonna do the whole force on this one. 
But there is a burger over there. And one and two and a buck of my shoe. Bada boom. Nope, that doesn't work. But yellows will. Alright, go ahead. Go ahead. I will right, we'll need you guys for a second, just so I can do one, two, three. There we go. He doesn't see us, right? Okay, we're good. He looks like someone we have to use fire Pikmin against, so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Now, I want to get stuff here, but the question is, where will they go? And do I need to clear out the Pikmin in the area? Oh, this place is tight. God, this, this is a tight angle. Okay, this was just the same way. Okay, but there is something up here. So, Major Maker! I didn't make you, but, you know, someone did. Wasn't me. But. Okay, and then I can just send all of you guys on this. And you guys will all just hang out there. Alright, and then, well, I guess I can nectar up the other guys. Alright, you guys. Cool. Let's go. I guess send the rest of the yellows on the wall. They'll probably finish soon. I, I think I can just stay here and wait for the walls to go down. Sure, it won't take that long. Okay, it's kind of taking a long time, but it's fine. I already committed. What do we got? There's nothing else up here, I believe. We can just go that way, grab more yellows, and then just move back around. Oh, get that. Actually, let me look up when the Pikmin 3 demo ends. Uh, let me just... I don't think I need the reds right now. So for now, let's take it. Collect 1,500 units of sparkling and finish exploring for the day. Okay. Shoot. Okay. Might be a bit, might be a bit of a concern, but hopefully I can do it while 100%ing everything. I hope... Oh, the thing is, there's another treasure in here, and I'm hoping... Watch it, maybe there's another treasure here. Hoping not. Because I want to restart another day, and I'm sure in two days I can get everything done. I'm pretty sure. Okay, three on there. If there's anything here, oh! Die! No, it's a waste of your strength to have you carrying it. I'll just have a red Pikmin carry it. Okay, I went up here earlier. Who was the officer we got? I think we might have another rescue officer. Let's hurry and verify their ID. We're finding a lot of people very quickly. Schnauz, treasure appraiser. An, an acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques were used to develop a leading appraisal AI. Oh. Hang on, this is no rescue officer. Who is this? And how did he get here? That kind of makes sense. That he's not a treasure. That he's not part of the crew. If he's a treasure appraiser, the ID shows that he's a treasure appraiser. Appraiser. What is he doing on this planet? Um. Hmm. I wonder. So you you remember the voyage log that arrived with Captain Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Um. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar too, shipwrecked and stranded. That's my hunch, anyways. I like to think this appraiser is the only one, but we should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways and be ready to rescue them too. Chances are they're in danger. I'm officially adding this to our mission list. Got it, you two? Let me say copy that. Let me say it. As if we didn't have enough work finding Captain Olimar and the rescue corps, there are also civilian castaways on this planet. Rescue any that you come across. Now, I was going to say, I'm like, we're finding like over half our team instantly. Okay, so that guy's over there. So I guess I got full send all my red Pikmin to just go wild. All right, Reds, we got a mission. Ends that freaking fire, whatever the hell that thing is, but it's fire probably. Maybe I hit him from the back. Get a surprise attack on him. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Hey. I 
Did he turn around? Now get him! What? He just falls on them? What? Okay. I think his body just crushes them. What? Damn. Okay, whatever. That's... Huh. I've never seen that before. Never does a creature's body just murder stuff like that. Wow, okay, interesting. Wow, you just killed... Uh, wow, you just killed so many? Hey, look, man. I didn't know. I know they were giving a lot of time to call the Pikmin, and I was wondering, like, why is this guy taking so long to fall? Just let him fall. What? Wrong. What do you mean, wrong? What did I say that was wrong? Wally Wog still killed Pikmin while dead in the air. They're not dead though. They complete their jump, their their slam, and then they die. What do you want about? Do you know how Wally Wogs operate? When you kill a Wally Wog and it's still at like m no damage, or so at no life points or like health in the air, the Wally Wog doesn't die immediately. He completes a slam and then died. Yeah. But that doesn't... No, 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 no. That's just not... That wasn't him slamming. That was him falling. He wasn't doing an attack and then finished the attack and then killed. He just fell over. No, it's not same logic. No, it's not. Get that out of here. His attack is to fall on me. What kind of attack is that? Why are you guys going that way? Why can't you just go this way? Wait, is that actually his attack? Did he just fall on you? Huh. Well, I'll be. Didn't know that. Cool. Well, good to know for the future. Oh, some of them died. That was unfortunate. We're going to have to grow some more later. But damn. He, he flips over, revealing his fire side. Because it looked like he was dead, and I'm just like, oh, he's just sitting there. He's going to fall any second now, but he's just not. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure, that works. Okay, wow. I was wondering. I'm like, that seems a little too easy. I just kind of threw a Pikmin. He just died. Okay. Hmm. I'll just uh, call him next time. He rescued a civilian. Let's go. 11 Pikmin died. That's unfortunate. Pikmin survival run ain't going too hot. <laughs> right, okay. Because you want to do all the stuff around the area and then do the 1500. Okay. What's the problem? Oh, I see. The Pikmin won't follow you onto the surface. <laughs> yeah, there are limits to how many and what types of Pikmin, Pikmin you can have out on the surface at any one time, but don't worry about the rest when you choose which Pikmin to take. Holy any remaining Pikmin will go back to the onion with the SS Beagle. Uh, okay. Select up to three. Yeah, th this works actually. E e e even three. Oh, look at the time. An important part of any rescue mission is making sure you make your way back to the base before it gets dark. Oh, so I could have taken my time growing stuff, but... I was busy trying to speedrun the treasures thinking that I had to. Thinking that the, the, everything would end in one day and that in one day I need to get to 1500 Sparklium. Pikmin will be safe as long as they make it back to this area around the base. It seems the creatures get even more aggressive at night. If any Pikmin are separated from the squad, you better collect them now. I think we have everyone, right? Okay, cool. I get to take my time farming Pikmin later. I'm fine with that. I love this part! When they end the day in Pikmin and all the Pikmin go back. So good. What's happening? Oh yeah, we got Russ and Schnauz.
It's not a 1500. Nice. Good. Good. We did lose a good bit of Pikmin today. Wow. Rest in peace, guys. Welcome back, Russ. Glad to see you made it here in one piece. One piece! Oh! I'm sorry. <laughs> of course, Captain. I had no doubt the emergency escape system I developed would function perfectly. God, you're such a fucking nerd. <laughs> that may be, but it would have been helpful, helpful if you showed the rest of us how to actually use it. One would expect an emergency escape device to be a bit more intuitive to use in the event of an emergency. <laughs> Piece of shit. Anyhow, now that you're back, Russ, can you tell us if you came across any rocks like this before we found you? <laughs> oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. Not only did I see them, I've already completed very thorough research on this material. I discovered that when heated, the rocks become soft and mildly- Okay, we literally, we literally figured this out, but alright. And can be shaped into any form you desire. Its base properties can even change when exposed to different stimuli. It's quite a versatile raw material indeed. Cool. Cool doesn't even begin to describe it. This is the one, the ultimate biomass I've been searching for my entire career. I am currently upgrading the 3D printers. Oh, it's like my friend Kat. She has a 3D printer. She's literally Rust. That's her. That's her right there. That's awesome. To use as soon as you bring it to the SS Beagle. It will be crucial to my work in the lab and any other building needs that might arise. Honey. What a spectacular update, Russ. I knew bringing along a material scientist would be key to our success. Starting tomorrow, I'm expecting our rescue operations to go even more smoothly than usual now that you're here. No we should be able to find our rescue officers more quickly as well. Speaking of which, we've also discovered a few castaways besides our own rescue officers and Captain Olimar. There may be more. What should we do about them, Captain? There's only one thing we can do. Rescue them, no matter how many are out there. Brave Shepherd, let's freaking go. And once they're here, I'm confident you'll take good care of them, Colin. Copy that, Captain. Another task for the to-do list. <laughs> I love how he's so professional out just like, like this. He's literally, his position, his like body posture, body language is like so serious and stoic, but... Ah, so funny. So professional though, I like him. Who would have thought that there would be others here besides Captain Olimar and the Rescue Corps? If we find more, we should save them. Oh, I see you've used a pin. So then I guess I don't need to tell you that it's as easy as selecting a mission and pressing A to pin it and unpin it. I commend your instincts. Pinning a mission is a great way to keep track of your objectives and progress. Okay, I don't really... I didn't really mean to do that, but... <laughs> I'll take the compliment. Thank you, my good sir. Rescue mission day three. Alrighty. Better get that 100%. Or try to, at least. Let's go! Wait, is it just me, or did Ochi go through a growth spurt overnight? That's actually quite typical for his breed. It's a sign that he's now fully grown and qualified for more rigorous activity. Oh, now we can ride him! Like that. The Pikmin sure are playful today. Yes, they appear to be letting their guard down now that Ochi's come into his own. I'm just glad to see they're getting along. Yeah, he's huge! Right, another benefit of Ochi being fully grown is that he can now build up his pup drive. What the hell is that? His eyes are on fire while completing missions. And with regular training sessions, he can learn new skills that will be useful for everyday rescue operations. Bye. From the looks of it, Ochi is ready as ever to fill up that pup drive. Okay, I'll save all the tunnels to do them all at one time to collect the treasures. All right, officers, to your stations, please. Copy that. I now call this strategy meeting to order. First things first, Russ, please update us on the improvements being made to the SS Beagle. It would be my absolute pleasure, pleasure, Captain Shepard, because they're done! The SS Beagle now has the ability to transform any raw material com collected into the field in all-purpose clay. I cannot speak today. With this functionality, we should be able to easily build on location. Excellent. Of course, I'm not quite sure what we'll be building, but good work nonetheless. We could build, oh, maybe like bridge tiles. Like the bridge wasn't complete earlier, so we can do that and build the bridge and get across. One last thing, bring me raw material and I'll be able to whip up exciting new gear and items for you in the lab. I have no doubt they'll be useful to you while out in the field. 
Sounds like we're not only collecting treasure now, but only but raw material too. And don't forget about our missing rescue officers. We're counting on you to find them, Tektaro and Ochi. By the way, come talk to me later when you have a minute. I would like to discuss Ochi's training. I hereby call the strategy meeting to a close. Copy that. Cool. Alright, so I need to talk to everyone. So let's talk to you first. Ah, there you are. Danger is a constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Ochi just might save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. Well, I hope you're ready because it's time to start your training. Sure, let's train. Alright, it's time to commence training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you two can handle it. Learn all Ochi's skills. This rescue pup training curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If Ochi's pup drive has built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you two want to take. Go to the buff path if you want to carry heavy things, or go the chomp path if taking on creatures is your priority. But keep proper Dandori practices in mind, and think carefully about what will help you carry out your duties efficiently. Okay. Heal. When he's injured, he'll recover as long as he takes it easy. I don't think that one's much really necessary. Use this skill to, t to tell your partner to go to your base or to call them to you. Oh, that's kind of cool. That'd be very helpful, actually. Use this skill to tell your partner to go to your base or to call them to you. It also enables go here on the radar map. Oh, yes, I'm taking that. I'm taking that. A thousand percent. Taking that. Go here is great. I can get one more, I guess, buff. Now you can carry five. Okay, cool. Scrummy bone two. Great work, Ochi. I've got just the reward for you. God, this is so cool. You can upgrade everything. Going forward, every time you complete training, you'll get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward for me. From me. Oh, this seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. There's items now? From actions, open your pack with L. You'll find all your items in there, so just pick the one you want to use. Okay. Y. L. Show me bone. Show me bone. And then show me bone. Cool. The captain's quite excited to talk to you about Ochi's growth spurt. You should go see what she has to say. And Russ has something to discuss with you as well. Feel free to put off your departure until you have a chance, until after you have a chance to speak with them both. I'm assuming I can't just like get Pikmin. Oh, I can. That's fine. I'll, I'll visit the lab. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself again. I'm Russ, the resident brains of this Rescue Corps operations. I use the raw materials you find and my handmade components to create all kinds of items and gear for use in the field. I can proudly state that all my inventions have been perfectly perfected. You could even say I have it down to a science. In exchange for raw material, I provide you with new gear. Your contributions make it possible to continue my important work. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, just, just visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Alright, bet. Survey drone. What, well, there's a survey drone? Charging horn. Press X and this horn will ch order selected Pikmin to charge. Press repeatedly to charge with an entire squad. Oh, charging I definitely want. Detect treasure and castaways nearby. No need to rely, rely on your natural instincts to guide you now. This is so cool. Protect you from fire. And once you understand the science behind a fire resistance, Ochi can be made fire resistant. Okay, the one that's most important for me is charging horn. But I can get other stuff. I have so much material I got. But I can get gear also. Life-saving kit will, will prevent, pr protect you from getting knocked out. It detects low HP and heals you. Okay, I don't need that. Perfect for stopping abating creatures. This might be good. <laughs> Toss one of these crunchies to a creature and watch its bitter flavor paralyze them from head to toe. Or tail. There are plenty of pick pick carrots in the pantry, but some are duds and way too bitter to, to be considered edible. <laughs> By us, anyway. <laughs> but the more you feed to the creatures, the longer they'll stay out of your way. Emergency kit, life-saving kit, auto-replenishes HP, keep one equipped, then you can focus on rescuing. That is a good point. 
When Ochi is injured, this will heal him instantly. When he's in perfect health, it will temporarily increase his HP. It's a super food that replenishes Ochi's HP, gives him give him lots of these and even more belly rubs. It's the least you can do. I'll take one of these. This makes sense. I'll take a couple more. How many would you like to create? Uh, can I? Oh, select the amount L. I. I guess two. That's fine. Now here, let's see. Drone is very good. I would love the drone. I have so many material. I could pick another one. Maybe. I don't need the scorch scar stuff. That's very specific. I don't really need it. Treasure treasure gauge. That's fine with me. I have so much cool equipment now. Holy crap. I love to take this opportunity to teach you how to use my scientific masterpiece, the charging horn. It's actually quite simple. Just press X to blow the horn once and order your Pikmin to charge. If you press X once, only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge. But keep pressing X and the entire squad charges. Nice. As you can see, this horn is perfect for attacks or transporting objects. You could even call it Dandori Dynamite. I guess it automatically locks on. What are you? Treasure catalog. Thank you so much for rescuing me the other day. I confess I'm really quite flustered. I only came here because I heard there were rare treasures to be found. Getting stuck here was not on my agenda. Oh, my apologies. I'm Schnauz, a noted appraiser of treasures. Treasure. Treasures. I thought it was treasurers. I often compile my findings in a log in a little log for posterity's sake. Uh, bye for now. I don't really care about that. Do drop by anytime you'd like to per per use the treasure catalog. Okay, let's get out of here. Now I can explore and talk to him. Dish Nepal. Please tell me I'm not the only one who hears that. Ready to explore. Yep. Sparkling Terrace. Sparkling Terrace. Unlock more areas with areas with 1500. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna let you guys bait me into that. Hell no. Wait, so are you guys just chilling here and I'm the one that goes out by myself on everything? Really? That explains why the day wasn't even progressing in time. Like, I was under the impression you could just spend as many days as you want until you hit, hit 1500 Sparklium, but that makes sense. Okay, so they just stayed there. Wow, they're having a pretty good time. Why does the rookie go out and explore? For Captain, why would you do it? Are you kidding me? I could really use having four captains to lead a bunch of different operations at once. That would be super cool, but I guess not. Gosh. Also, what's the point of getting Oshi to go to the base? Can he collect Pikmin? And then bring them back to me? That would be really cool. If that is a feature, that is very helpful. Because I would now have to collect Pikmin over and over and over again. Oh, residential burglary at the college I'm transferring to. That's fun. Huh. Oh well. Alright, let's do this. I want to get that flanchin thing too. The thing that increases your Pikmin capacity. Come in, come in. Over. As we discussed earlier, Ochi has grown a bit. So this morning I decided to drill him on his jump skill. Now we can jump! Ochi should be able to move around more easily now, even with you and the Pikmin on board. Walk up close to Ochi and press Y to mount. Press it again to dismount. Press X when you want Ochi to use jump. He should have no problem clearing small ledges. If you keep holding X after you jump, you can build up his power. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Using jump will give you access to more search areas and a good rush can be a game-changing move in battle. Perfect. Alright, let's do this! Can I select all? Uh, Y, auto. There we go. Now we can go very fast. Well, I guess faster. So I'll save all the tunnels for doing them all at once. But for now, let's just explore everything besides the tunnels. Jump. We open that one. Oh, the, the bodies are still there. We can get some more. Okay. Let's get some yellows. I'm pretty sure they're fine. There, there shouldn't be any enemies on the way there. But I could be wrong. 
So the frost cavern, we already did that. We can take out this thing. This thing wasn't helpful. I might send Ochi to go get other stuff. That Bulbarb is still sleeping. Frick that guy. I can't... Uh, oh, I can do this. How do we dismount again? Yeah, okay. They're going around. We're fine. Oh, okay, I can't do that. Okay, so how do I get off him? Uh, gear and skills. Pop skills. Gameplay guy. Controls. Okay, Ryan dismounts Y. Okay. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get him to go back to base and see if he can um, get the Pikmin there. So he's going back to base. Let's see if that what that does. But I'm just going to collect maybe a couple of There we go. Now we get more Pikmin! We can take out 10 more Pikmin now. This should speed up our search. Okay, now the problem is, if I get ice, can I not grow any more ice Pikmin? Are these the only ones I can find like in the in the tunnels, for example? Wait, let's see where he goes. Oh no, we're fine. So it does turn to red Pikmin. I kind of just want to see. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm kind of curious. Okay, now let's see if I if I call him back, will he get the Pikmin with with him? Come here. I kind of want to make sure they don't die to the Bulbor, but I'm pretty sure they won't. No, he just came, which I guess that's fine. He doesn't bring the Pikmin with him. That's unfortunate. Maybe he does actually. Hold on. Go, um, sniff out onions or flaric, Rob. Oh, you can sniff out different kinds of Pikmin? Interesting. Okay. So this one actually, oh, it highlights red still. What the heck? Can I grow more ice pick? I feel like I should be able to arrive to get more uh, ice Pikmin. I guess not. It's still red. No ice onion, no ice Pikmin. Oh. Okay, that makes sense, but why does the... Why does the... Why does it still grow... Red Pikmin if... The red onion already absorbs... Oh wait, did the red onion not absorb the yellow? Oh yeah, we don't have a... That's right, we don't have a yellow onion. That was a flaric thing down there. I kept thinking that was a red... Oh, that explains it. Yeah, so we can't get more red Pikmin right now. Okay. This is gonna be weird. It's so weird to think that we could store them, but not. Okay. So I need to get more Ice Pikmin later, part of the onion, but we don't have any at all right now. So what to do? How do I use the drone? Gameplay guide. No, don't, don't end the day. Rewind time. Oh, that's just to go back. Okay. Which one's the uh, shortcut? Shortcut? I'm assuming I need to go to my gear. Okay. Uh, pack? Can I use my drone? There it is. That's so cool. Okay, fly up, fly up. Something up there. There's so much stuff here. What is that? Another dog? Oh, it's a, a dog and a, and a survivor. Two survivors, actually. Well, one rescue operator. He has very big hair. That's not all of them are. Blue onions over there. Can we get 
Dude, there's so much to explore here. What? Wow. Okay, this is going to be a long playthrough. I don't think I'll be able to finish this whole demo today. Wow, okay. This is... Shit, I mean, I'm ready for it. Damn. Okay. Okay. So, in the meantime... Let's just get these pellets, because why not? These are reds ones anyways, so... Okay. So... Hop on. Oh, no. Nope, that's not what I wanted. But... Oh, is it... Oh, it's Y to ride and dismount? That makes sense, actually. I don't know why I thought it was X before. Oh, I should probably just throw out... Bring out more reds. So I don't have to pluck them over and over. That's probably a good idea. Oh, he goes back on the thing. That's funny. Okay. Let's just grab more of these. Oh, I already have max. Cool. Let's go. If I get, uh, if I find the ice onion, then I'll be able to uh, freeze the water. But I don't think that's going to happen. At least not right now. Tunnels here. That We already did 100% that. Okay, let's see what we got. There's a strawberry over there. Oh, I'm going to kill you. And a one, and two, and a boop! That's what you get. Can I... Okay. Cool. Oh, let's uh, do this real quick. Go! Bum 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 ba ba lum bum. Bum 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 ba ba lum bum. So maybe the clay thing, maybe we don't have to do the um, clay thing for these things, but we should be able to find more bridge tiles. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw material into clay. Okay, so we are doing that. Okay. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them a higher purpose, after all. Once you're at a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochis to start building. To start building. Okay. All right. Well, guys, let's get to work. How many do I need? Oh, that's cool. Wait. Well, look at you guys. Actually, I should probably have you sniffing for onions, huh? Hold on. Let me dismount. Oh. Good bridge. Oh, wait. That bridge looks so cool. Construction of the clay, bri clay bridge is now complete. Now you can come and go as you please. Go ahead, cross it, admire the impressive craftsmanship. I won't do that, but... Okay, actually, I will. It does look pretty cool. Okay, so now... Let's have you sniff something out. Wait, what is that thing on the bottom? Switch? Play as the dog? Huh? Interesting. Okay. But I'll play as me for now. Um, if the situation arises, then I'll do that. But in the meantime, pick up a scent. Actually, no, I probably should direct it, actually. I don't want treasure or anything. Let's go onions. So that's not very helpful, I'm gonna be honest. I, <laughs> this is not the right onion. Oh, you're going for another one. Oh, sorry, I thought you were searching for the red one. I'm coming, I'm coming, let's go. God, I love Ochi. He's so helpful. This is great. And he's going the way that the yellow Pikmin were. So I'm pretty sure it's this way. Nice. Okay. In that case, let's keep going. Oh, shoot. Get it. Get it. Cool. We got a lot of stuff. 
In the meantime, though... Hey, 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 come back, come back. You're going too fast. Come here. Oh, beautiful squash. All right. Everyone get on. Let's do this. And go! Oh, that one made it. What? I had 40 Pikmin. How did they survive? Yeah, I'm unfortunate. Can I not hit him properly? Huh. Um, let's move the base here. Yeah, this is easier. Okay, cool. Um, we'll just clear out. Just uh, get one more here. Okay, get one here. Man! I didn't think someone would die. Actually, maybe I just save the actual these body things for like when I get the other onions. Most likely. What is this? Meandering slope. Huh. Okay. So there... Oh, there is a person over there. Oh, yellow onion! Nice! Now we can get more yellows. I feel guilty because I kept killing Pikmin earlier. Look at that! Another onion! This one's a different color from the first one we found. Will it also move on its own after we transport it? Let's find out. Alright, and... Just get it. Oh, you need way more than that. Okay, got it. Uh, we can have you and... Actually, no, we get the reds! The reds have been doing everything so far. Let's just do the reds. Make the reds do that. Cool. And a one, and a two, and a buckle my shoe. Boom. Okay, those are shiny, so we're not touching them. And that's water. So we need more ice Pikmin. We need to find the ice onion to pick, make a bridge over to that guy. In the meantime, let's just get more resources. This should be enough. Okay, well. Yellow onion? Can I change color? Nice. Now we have another onion. This is good. Woo! I like how it's a nice even half. I mean, I like... Honestly, I liked the, what they had in Pikmin 3 before, where it was like a gradient of colors. But this is also fine. They sucked up the other onion? That was unexpected. You don't think that's going to be a problem, do you? Unbelievable! The onions fused, and now there's just one with two colors. Wait, do you think you will be able to propagate Pikmin of both types now? Okay. Perfect. Okay, so they're going to be going back to the base and they're going to stay there, which is good. So in the meantime... Perfect. Grab everyone. Oh, now they're changing color. Oh, is it gonna don't turn yet don't turn red? Nice. Good job. Wait for it. Okay, so while they're growing more of those... So there's stuff over there, we need more ice pigment, and there's stuff over there, that's treasure, we don't need that right now. We can go back to that area. Oh, push this. They're pushing that. Get you guys back here. Let's swap out some reds for some more yellows. This works. There's another onion here, so there should be one close by. 
Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this was the... Was this the old base? I think it was. Yeah, this is the old base. Looks familiar. Oh, we're about to hit the end of the day already. Wow, that was quick. Okay. So, we made a good bit of progress. Good bit of progress today. What's in here? I remember on I dug this up before, and I don't actually know what happened. Come on, let me do that. I'll, I'll get that in a second. But in the meantime... Gonna quickly get this guy. Help him out, come on. Uh, I'm sure he's carrying it. I'm sure it's fine. I'll collect him afterwards, no big deal. Okay. Oh, there's just materials. Okay. Go, go. There's a dead blue hog up there. We can also grab that. He's gonna clean up the field. It's not like we're gonna get anything done right now, so let's just collect everything. I'm pretty sure everyone can make it. Oh, I do want to get that body over there. Okay, let, let's check it. Let's take a look. So they're all carrying stuff. Everyone else should be fine. But let me see if I can grab this thing over here. I want to try to grab that big guy. He can give a lot of red Pikmin. Okay, another Pikmin. We'll worry about the treasure. We'll worry about the materials later. That's not a concern right now. I don't think I'll make it in time to transport the big guy, but we could try. And the red that are missing are still there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. We'll try to see if we can get this big guy. If not, then no big deal. Go, 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 go. Fast, fast, fast. Okay, I'm going to dismount off you. You also hop out. Hey. I think they can make it, but I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep an eye out. Eleven out of ten, the only ones that are are in danger are these guys. I can call them off whenever I need to to make sure they survive. I don't think they'll make it. Yeah, they won't make it. No way. Rescues. Ooh. One yellow Pikmin died. That was bullcrap, by the way. I charged his ass in the back with 40 Pikmin. If you press minus and open shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to up, down, left, right, and stick. Really? Can you assign the rescue journal to one of those? Of course. And then you could reference it whenever you need some quick advice. You can even assign actions like disband or select items at the push of a button. That is pretty cool. I should do that. Setting up shortcuts seems like a great way to improve. I'm not even going to say that word. Speaking of improvements, Colin, it would be more efficient if you shared such inf helpful information a lot sooner. Who would have thought there would be others here besides Captain Olimar and the Rescue Corps? If we find more, we should save them. And that's the end of the video. We're going to continue the Pikmin 4 demo in the next video. So please stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys later. See you, techies.